Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for September 10th through the 16th. This reading may not resonate with you, okay? So really keep that in mind. It may or may not resonate. Tr don't try to make it fit. If it doesn't fit easily, then it's not for you, okay? If it fits easily, then it is. Um, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically, my readings are love readings. Um, this is the vice versa tarot. There are, you know, there's two sides to these cards. Um, I cut the deck before I started. And I was thinking before I started about you guys. And I heard, what I heard was, before I cut the deck, before I cut the deck, we had, there's a different card up here, okay? I heard, the truth cannot long be hidden. The truth cannot long be hidden. So then I push my computer aside and I decide I'm going to cut the deck. I'm going to cut it again here in a minute because, just to be fair, um, just because I feel the need. But anyway, we have the King of Cups here. And um, the King of Cups basically in reverse, turning your back. Either this King of Cups could be any sign. It does represent a water sign. But it could be anybody. It could be you. Deciding to close down. Shut down your emotions. I'm shutting down. Withdrawing from the situation. We're going to cut it again. Ooh. Much better. There's a new passionate beginning on the horizon. There is. This is a new partnership. Maybe that king of cups, whoever it was, man or woman. Maybe you need to turn your back on that person or that person turning the back on you, whatever the case was, is bringing you something that will have more growth. Okay, so whatever that was, whoever that was, whether it's you or the other person turning their back, it's because there's another opportunity that is more beneficial to you coming in. A more exciting, adventurous opportunity that promises growth is available. There you are. We're going to take three, then we're going to shuffle. Look at that. You guys are coming up with a new plan. You're coming up with a plan. You're thinking about the plan. You're taking a break. This one came flying out. There's the King of Cups. He wanted to come out. Now he's upright. Son of a bitch, he wanted to come out. <laughs> he had turned his back before, and now he's facing forward. Now, I don't know if I told you, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It looks, at the, it looks as though there is a passionate new beginning here. Could be with the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be with another Earth sign, but I think this is you. Taking your time, working on your stability, thinking about everything that has happened. I think you're, you've been wishing for something. If you look, it's like he's sitting on his horse. The horse is just waiting patiently. And perhaps you've been patiently waiting for something. Have you been patiently waiting for this spark? Have you been patiently waiting for this new beginning, Capricorn? I think you've been wishing for it. You've probably been looking up, you know, looking up at looking above and thinking, you know, was this ever going to come? Now here we have the Eight of Cups. 
somebody is thinking about what they left and you know this could be somebody wanting this guy is looking or this person is looking man or woman or kid or whoever it is this this person is looking at the cups looking at the love looking at what they had divinely guided okay so I feel as though and there's stars there's a lot of stars this is like a wish upon a star you know when you see a comet it's like a wish it is so it's like some sort of wish is coming true Capricorn something that you've been waiting patiently 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 for is coming around somebody's giving you love now this can be any sign okay Somebody has a, a cup of love that they are, a cup of love and passion. Here you go. We started out with the back is turned. But now he's facing forward. Here it is. He's looking at you. He's looking at me. There's some power struggles here. There's some conflict. There's somebody that has been brought to their knees. I've given up. One person has given up. You win. You win. You win. You win. This kind of looks like the same person to me. It looks as though... Oh, God. I get some more cards. It, it really looks as though somebody is could be offering I don't even want to say it but I want to I want to get the rest of these cards before I say anything an apology there's your apology son of a good that's what I was gonna say somebody's offering an apology and this is an apology card so you know I don't know I don't know somebody's ego has driven for a long time. The ego, what did I say? I can't even remember what I said at the beginning of this reading. All that is hidden cannot be hidden long, something like that. Because it's gone now. That's how quickly shit leaves. It comes and it goes. It does that to me all the time. All that is hidden will not be hidden for long. And that makes complete sense, okay? Hidden, unhidden. So if there's some hidden love, if there's some hidden love, somebody's been hiding their feelings because of pride or ego, Expect it to come out. Expect it to come out. This is an apology. This is an apology. Somebody is deciding to act with integrity, to find their moral backbone, to apologize for bringing you down, for treating you the way they did. So it feels like this is appreciation here. It's like... I have a gift. I have a gift for you. I have I this guy or this person is coming to offer you something. This is what I have to offer. He's coming in. Somebody is coming in with a, a with an with a passionate offer. It's like they're not it's like, you know what? This is what I want and I'm going to get it. And I've been thinking about it for a long time and it's time for me to take action. Somebody is deciding to step outside of their comfort zone and, and, head, and head into the direction of, you know, they're starting a new journey, a new life. It's like I'm, I've decided that I am going to fight this battle. I'm no longer going to hide behind the wall. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to fight this battle. And it feels like you've been waiting. You have been waiting for this. Look at this shit. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is the truth coming out. The truth is about to be revealed about how somebody feels about you. And they've been hiding it. 
Capricorn, somebody has been hiding their true feelings for you, and it's time. It's time to for it to be revealed. And I think you've been patiently waiting, and you've probably been growing weary and tired. And you've probably already turned your back on this situation as well. You're probably like, you know what? I don't even need to hang on to this anymore. The world is in my hands. I have, I have multiple opportunities here. But it looks as though, you know, this guy is coming in with a new opportunity. Whether it's somebody new or somebody old, I see an offer coming in. Somebody is offering you something solid. Okay, that's what this is. Somebody is coming in. They're offering you something solid, and it has a lot of room for growth. Um, you may be a little afraid of it because it may seem like it's too good to be true. Um, but it feels as though this person definitely is appreciate coming. I mean, the Three of Pentacles card appreciation. They're appreciating you for some reason. It's a card of appreciation. So it looks as though, you know, where if you've been in a difficult period, if you've been in a stagnant period and you've been waiting for a change, the change is coming. Okay, the change is coming. Maybe, you know, what it, whatever could be happening is is at nighttime somebody gets a revelation, they get the re they get the clarity that they need and need and in the morning they come in and they offer you that opportunity. It's like, okay, here they receive their clarity and in the morning they decide to follow their passion. Okay. So I, I really feel like the, the somebody is in the process right now of thinking about the love they're thinking about the love they had they're thinking about what they lost and they're probably taking some action you know that's what it looks like to me i feel like you could be receiving a message you know somebody be, could be coming in with a message um of a new beginning and it's been a long 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 awaited it's like you've waited a really long time for this and maybe you've even given up on it maybe you've turned your back and you've decided to move on maybe you've decided to travel you've decided to move on from this situation and maybe this other person is like you know what I've lost I'm losing I'm losing this person I'm losing this person I'm losing the love that we had so I have to take action now before this person's actually gone gone okay so I feel like Capricorn there is a newfound appreciation for you and perhaps somebody is coming in with an apology now this isn't going to be for every single person let's get some clarifiers we are going to take this one um, because this is about moving on to a much better place and I think that's what's happened here I think that you have moved on from something I do. I think that you have moved on. You have decided to get your life back on track, to step outside of this situation that was going nowhere. And when you get to that point, you know, that's when the unit, this is a test. The Knight of Pentacles is usually a test. It's when you will be tested with another lesson, perhaps, or whatever. So I feel like this is a week where you are going to receive a message. A message. That probably affects your independence, whether you want to go back or not. You know, whether you, oh my God, I, I this needs to stop. I mean, it doesn't need to stop, obviously, but this is a reconciliation, okay? So, you know, I feel as though, and this is happiness, and this is happiness, and this is like giving up your independence. So maybe you've wor been working on your independence, and you've been working on your, your, uh, home and your job and just focusing on everything but love you know and having fun you know and just deciding that you know I'm, I'm gonna move on from from this I'm, I'm done I'm done I'm done hanging on to this I'm done hanging on to the power struggles the conflicts dealing with this person that has such a big ego you know I'm gonna accept the apology I never got I'm gonna accept the apology I never got and I'm just gonna move on this is forgiveness okay I'm gonna forgive this situation and move on so you start to be happy in your independence and you're doing really, really good. And then all of a sudden you get this offer. You get this offer. So I feel like whether this is new or old, for many of you, if this is a reconciliation. That's what I see. For some of you, this is an absolutely new beginning. Okay? So it's a new beginning. You, you think it's never coming. 
You think it's never coming, but it's here. And this is with somebody who has really, really, really good intentions for you. There's a there's a a lot of love to be had. This is something that could be, you know, this is the pot of the gold at the end of the rainbow. This is absolutely beautiful love. It's beautiful love. And it's going to perhaps push you to turn your back on independence. Now, what is this? This is for the 10th through the 16th. This is being recorded on the 7th. So from the 7th to the 16th, okay? It feels as though you are going to receive a message from somebody that they want to be in a relationship with you, you know, or that they love you or that, you know, they want to take it to the next level, you know, or, you know, you could even have a baby. I mean, there's, there's, there's three here, two becomes three. So there could be a baby in the mix. But anyway, I feel as though there's a, there is a, a new beginning here. There's a new person that is entering your life, whether it's a baby or it is a, uh, a new suitor or a past suitor. There's a, there is a, there is a, a gift that is being offered to you and it is passionate. It is, um, it does have really good intentions. I think this person is coming in with sincere thoughts. They, if it is a reconciliation, there will be a, an apology. Um, Either way, whatever this person is offering, it's, it's something solid. You know, they want to they wanna give you something. Somebody has something that they want to give you. And this person, um, I feel like this person is going to help you to stand back up. You know, they're going to help you to get back on your feet after you've been down for a while. So, you know, just be prepared perhaps for a revival of something. Um... And this is about forgiveness, forgiveness, and and there and perhaps there's there's you know forgiveness is needed on both ends. So keep that in mind. There's forgiveness that is needed here, or that has happened. So I feel like definitely forgiveness plays a part in this reading. Um, but somebody is is finding the the power to. offer a fresh new start that's what this looks like to me or offer a new beginning and there's a there's a instant attraction between this person whoever this person is it's instant okay um it's not something that you can deny it's not something that you can walk away from easily um there's an opportunity for a lot of happiness a lot of growth a rebirth extreme bliss with this person that's coming into your life Oh my goodness, we got the hangman has been enlightened. You know, we have Pisces here. So we have Leo here and Leo, so you could do be dealing with a Pisces, a Leo, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Leo. I mean, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, doesn't matter really what sign it is, but the fact of the matter is, is there is an opportunity for love for relationship, for happiness, for bliss, for renewal, for, for reconciliation even for some of you. But there could be a brand new opportunity too with somebody that has been waiting for the perfect moment. Somebody has been waiting for the perfect moment to make this offer. Now this is um, being enlightened. So somebody has been enlightened through karma because this is karma. So perhaps karma taught somebody a lesson i don't know what's this one? Oh, six of cups son of a bitch could could, could have called that one anyway so yeah i do believe that it is a soulmate connection it is a somebody that you've known before so i believe this is in all probability this is a reconciliation of some sort okay but it could be somebody new from a past life or whatever but it's somebody you have every light in the house is on You've been waiting for this person, Capricorn. You have been waiting for this to happen. Every light in the house is on. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And he's up here waiting 
on the on the on his deck he's like are you are you ever gonna come home are you ever gonna come home are you ever gonna come home the bridge is still intact that's a good thing <laughs> the bridge has not been burned yet so that's real good um He's getting sick of waiting, though. He is definitely getting... He's like got his hands on his hips. Looks like me. I'm about sick of waiting. So, you know... And I can see that somebody is sick of waiting. Somebody is sick of waiting. And they're thinking about traveling. Getting the hell out of here. So, I feel like you're 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 probably ready to... You're probably at the point where you are you can't wait much longer. Okay? this you're, you're starting to realize that this is dead. In the, like the dead, dead desert. Okay? It's dead. There's there's no life in sight, right? There isn't. So, you know, you turn your back on this situation. You decide to walk away from it. You decide to move on. You decide to broaden your horizons. The two of wands, like, I'm traveling. I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. You get to that point where I'm just like, I'm leaving this situation. I am. Turning my back on this situation, you see, they're, they're, so I think that you you get to a point where you know what I'm sick of waiting. I'm turning my back on this situation, and then you get this offer. You get this offer that brings you love. I think it's somebody that you know. I do. Somebody has been enlightened through karma. And now they are reminiscing about the past. This is the past. This is the past. They're reminiscing about the past. They're doing a lot of, you know, thinking about it. They've see, they're seeing things from a new perspective. So for a lot of you, this is absolutely a reconciliation. And it could be with a Leo. It could be. It could be with a Leo. It could be with, and this is for Capricorn. It could be with a um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So that's what I see. You know, I see that it's, there's an opportunity for passion through honesty. Okay, somebody receives the clarity, they open up, they tell the truth about how they really feel, and there's there's a reunion of some sort. Something you've been wanting. It is something you've been wanting. Now, this could be somebody brand new with that Ace of Wands, just saying. It could be. It's something you've manifested, though. It is. Whether it's a new love or it's a reconciliation, it's something that you have manifested. And it's going to it's gonna mess up your independence, okay? It's probably going to... It probably could happen around the, the ninth. The ninth. Oh, the ninth. I just saw that. I wouldn't even look at the nine. I was thinking about the new moon. Okay, could be the full moon, but then I just looked down and saw the nine. I know what the card is, but I just happened to notice the nine before. It. Anyway, I said the ninth without even seeing the nine, whatever. So anyway, the ninth or the 24th, because the 24th is um, the full moon. But anyway, I feel as though there is, um, you may be asked to forgive. Okay, you may be asked to forgive somebody. Okay. Forgiveness brings the ultimate happiness, by the way. Okay? Forgiveness, ultimate happiness right here, both these cards. So, you know, if you need to forgive, then maybe you do. Um, somebody is thinking about the happiness that they once had. And it's causing them to struggle. They're really struggling with the forgiveness. They're struggling with the ego. But they were really, really happy and in love at one time. So definitely this is a reading of ego. And apologies. The past is absolutely a factor. The Six of Cups, this is a, this is a connection that is... 
love. I mean, it's love. So if you if you're fighting, if you're if you're in a situation right now where you're with somebody, there is an opportunity to reconcile. Okay, if you're if you're married or whatever, and you're fighting with your partner, there's an opportunity for a reconciliation here. Love and forgiveness and heals everything. Okay, it really does. If you are apart from your partner that you love and you've been waiting and you're giving up, you're giving up, you're giving up, you've given up, I've given up, okay? There's an opportunity for this person to come back in now and you may be asked to forgive, okay? You may be, I mean, you may be asked to forgive, so be prepared for that. Um, whatever this is, your love life is stepping it up a notch, okay? It is. If you're single, you probably won't be single for much longer. There is a partner that is coming into your life. Okay? There is. Somebody wants to grow with you. Somebody sees what they can have with you. But they're struggling to step out of their ego. They are, but they're close. They're close. I don't know who this reading is for. I really don't. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. You know, this card just sums it all up. I think there's a soulmate connection here. If you are with somebody right now and you're fighting, you're having troubles, work on it. If you are single and you're waiting for somebody, they're coming. Whether it's somebody that you are going to reconcile with or it's somebody new. You're being called to give it a chance. Don't turn your back on it. You may be, you may be reluctant to not turn your back on it. Give it a chance. See? Back, back, back. All this, this whole lineup, the back is turned. It's like, I don't... I've turned my back on this situation because you have taken too long. And I'll keep going if you don't make a move. So anyway, this is what I have. I feel as though there is an opportunity for new love here. Okay, there is. There's an opportunity for a new partnership in which you may have to forgive the past. Maybe you've got to forgive the past so that you can move freely with this new partner. And that's where forgiveness comes in. Maybe somebody, this is probably the case, okay? For some of you it is. Somebody with a big ego brought you to your knees. They brought you to your knees. Kicked you while you were down. Seriously. Left you for dead. Now you get this new offer from somebody, and it looks really fucking good. Trust me, it does. But you can't accept it, because you haven't forgiven the past yet. This is forgiving the past. It really is, and here's the past. You need to have this new perception. You need to look at it as if the past is the past. Give the new beginning a chance, however it works for you. There's an opportunity, opportunity for extreme happiness here if you allow it, if you work on it. Forgiveness is key. Key. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Talk to you later.